So this is how I shoot B-rolls for my videos. Weather is not really good, but I'll make things do. So we're going to the park and I show you how I make a cinematic B-roll. To make a cinematic B-roll, you need to respect a few rules. Rule number one, keep that camera steady. Well, I don't have a gimbal, so I will have to do my best to walk around that. However, I do have manual steady cam, like a manual gimbal. I will try to use it at least for a couple of shots. Rule number two, isolate your subject from the background. How do you do that? Uh, you want to create that bokeh, that shallow depth of field. So you want to keep your lens at maximum aperture. And if it's very bright outside, you're gonna need ND filters. And the filters like sunglasses for your lenses. Rule number three, use slow motion. It looks so cinematic. However, you're not obliged to do like your B-roll 100%, like 120 frames per second and all slow motion. No, but when you shoot in slow motion, your footage looks more stable, more dreamy, more like cinematic. Rule number four, you're telling a story, even if not a conventional story with a protagonist, an antagonist and so on, a problem, a resolution. No, you don't, you don't need to do that. So what you need is like to show the place, to, to show entirely where the action takes place. That's the first thing you should do. Then you need details, uh, action, Try to always shoot something with movement. It's gonna look great in slow motion, but even at normal speed. It's just you don't want your footage to look like a photo. There are other rules, but these are like the basic ones. And there's another one, of course, color grade your footage. Because there are people just shooting automatic or with the um, default picture profiles. Uh, don't do that. Oh, another thing, frame rate. For some reasons, 24 frames per second, it's the way to go if you want your footage to look cinematic. All right, first things first. Uh, let's look for the right place. Just give me a second. good with that thing, the uh, Steadicam thing, manual gimbal, it, I suck at it, but I definitely tried. Now I'm gonna use the 50 millimeters with the speed booster on the M50. the uh, 55 250 millimeters so let me put it on the 90d like this and let's see how it goes
Now I really want to isolate the subject. Multiple time lapses, uh, details. Basically, the story is me shooting the B-roll, trying to trying to make it cinematic. I packed everything back in a backpack. Now I'm going home. So I think I got all I need to be able to put together a decent B-roll. We'll see if, uh, if it will look cinematic or not. You tell me in the comments down below what you think about it. Now, just watch it. So this is how I shoot B-rolls for my videos. I start with an establishing shot with the 10 to 18 millimeters. Sometimes I use the drone when I can. I can't fly the drone here in Madrid. That's why when I go with Paolo and his drone, we go far away from the city where we are actually allowed to fly drones. Anyway, after the establishing shot, I start using other lenses like the 50 millimeters, the nifty 50 or the 24 millimeters, which is great. Also for street photography and videos, of course, but it doesn't have stabilization. So if you use it for video, it, it's better if you get either a gimbal or a tripod, a monopod or something, because it's not stable at all. Then I need to capture some details, like I did with the ducks, with people passing and the bench or a street sign or whatever. And I use the 55 to 150 millimeters, which is great. Uh, I was really able to isolate uh, each subject from the background, most of the time getting a great bokeh. And since it's a vlog, I had to film myself shooting. In this case, I was able to, to film myself shooting with the 90D using the Canon M50. If you don't own two cameras, you can use your phone to film yourself when you're shooting with your, with your camera or to get a different angle or to shoot an extra time lapse. I forgot, one of the most important things in a B-roll is the music. With the music, since the very beginning, from the establishing shot, you set the feeling, you set the mood, the expectations of the viewer. You really have to be really careful when it comes to choosing the music for the B-roll. This video was like a, kind of a tutorial or maybe not. Maybe it was just me showing you how I shoot my B-roll. But let's say, what if I should make one single B-roll to put in a vlog of me going to the park and shoot? Let's see, with the material I have, if I can make one single B-roll without me interrupting and saying which lens I'm using and why. Just uh, one B-roll saying, I go to the park and shoot. Well, let's watch it now weather is not really good but i'll make things do so we're going to the park and i show you a cinematic b-roll
So what do you think about it? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe. And I see you in the next video.